Welcome my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm going to, uh, I'm looking in my refrigerator here, and I see I got uh, some stuff I need to get rid of. And I got some beautiful bell peppers, y'all, here. Look at them. Look at these beautiful bell peppers here that I bought about a few days ago. It was on sale at ATV. And I said, I'm going to do some stuffed bell peppers, but I'm going to do it with these. Now, I'm going to kind of sway around, away from my normal recipe that I do for the stuffed bell peppers. I'm going to use what I have in-house. Uh, I usually stuff it with bell peppers, too. I usually put chopped bell peppers, onions, celery, rice. Of course, I'm going to put rice in this one, but I'm going to use celery, onions, rice, breadcrumbs, a little ketchup, a little tomato uh, sauce in it. And uh, we're going to just create on the fly here, y'all. It ain't going to be my traditional bell pepper like my mama made. But I'm going to come up with it and we're going to create on the fly. It's going to be one of all the fly uh, videos here. Like I say, this month, January, just Aaron just got off just uh, post-retirement here. And, you know, next month I'm on a set schedule. You're going to have certain themes every day, different, uh, different recipes I do on certain days. But January, I'm just hitting y'all with some random videos here and there. Maybe a couple of road trips in there or whatever. And this is going to be one of them random videos. Old school stuff, bell peppers. I'm just going to throw it together. And in the description of the video, I'm going to do the correct way. Not the, Well, this is the correct way, but specifically how I would do it if I had everything I needed to do. And not a spare of the moment recipe. So, yeah, in the description box, I have a... Specific recipe for stuffed bell peppers. Anyway, I'm gonna get stuff fabricated, get my uh, bell peppers cut up and sliced, and onions and celery diced and everything. And I'm gonna come back and show you how to put this together. So we'll be right back. Old school stuffed bell peppers. Can't get no better. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, let's get this thing mixed together. Like I say, y'all, this is uh, I got the complete recipe in the description of the video. But this is stuff I have on hand. So I got my pound of, you know, this is my venison, uh, venison, put all that in there, y'all. We're going to see what we come up with here. Venison hamburger meat. Onions here. You know, most of this is like a filler. You make stuff, bell peppers, y'all. Most of this stuff is like a filler. I got my rice here. This is how you stretch food back in the day, y'all. This is how you stretch food back in the day. Okay. I'm going to get my seasoning in here. I'm going to use my calendars. Put some garlic in here. Let's get that garlic out of there. Oh, yeah. Like I said, y'all, we just doing what we do right now. Okay. I got my uh, shake there. Definitely got to put some salt and pepper. Some salt and pepper. Let me see here. Some breadcrumbs here. Might have to add a little bit more. And I'm going to mix my eggs up here. You're going to pour eggs in there. Of course, the breadcrumbs and the eggs going to be the binder. Eggs in there. Okay. I'm gonna put a little tomato in there. I'm gonna put the rest in the bottom of the pan. A little ketchup. So we just playing it by here, y'all. We're gonna mix all this old no Worcestershire sauce. There we go. Now, get this out the way. Now get my gloves on y'all we're gonna mix all this up and uh i'll have us a big old thing of stuff and to stuff all these peppers with y'all like i say this is the best thing you don't have to put gloves on you my hands are clean i just don't want to have to wash my hands again y'all i'm gonna mix all this up together all that mixed together now oh yeah Squeeze all that in there and get it all mixed together. Got that rice in there, cooked rice. Make sure your rice is cooked, y'all. See that? 
Now this smells amazing, y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit more breadcrumbs in here, and that'll do it. But I can tell I need a little bit more, more binding agent. A little bit more breadcrumbs in there. I'll mix this up here. Mix this with a spoon here. There we go. There we go, y'all. Look at that. So let me go back to what I've done. I got onions, celery, bell peppers. I got three colors of bell peppers. You know, I got the yellow, orange, and red. Of course, you can use green. That's just what I had on hand. And, uh, now, now we got our bell peppers here. We'll take them back out of the, take them out of the pan here. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna put some dip tomato sauce I had left over. Put in the bottom of the bottom of this pan here. What I do with it? Just put it right there in the bottom of the pan. Turn this around. There we go. Now we're gonna stuff our peppers in our pan over here. Left-handed sometime. I, what they call it when you're left-handed, right-handed? That's me. Some people notice that right off. They damn, you use your your left hand and right hand. Yeah, I can use both. I can write with either one. I usually use my right hand, but a lot of times I use my left. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all with me here? Okay. Now we just gonna stuff these peppers right quick, y'all. Got the yellow one here. We'll stuff a few here, and then I'm gonna show y'all. Get them all stuffed really, really big here. I want some big bell pepper stuffed. We just lay it right on top of the sauce. I do a red one. Look at that. So you get it stuffed really, really good. Oh yeah. You want a stuffed bell pepper? You want a stuffed bell pepper? Give me an orange one. Right there. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna step off and finish these up. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next before I put them in love. Because we're not through, y'all. We're definitely not through with them. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm gonna step off, finish these up, and I'll be back and I'm gonna show you the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We are back here. Okay. See how pretty these are? They ain't even cooked yet. See that? I got the red, yellow, and orange. Bell peppers, but I'm not through. I'm gonna make a glaze to go on top of this before and after it's cooked. So I'm gonna get some ketchup on here. Let's squeeze all that out of there. I'm gonna put a lot of glaze on that. I got a little Worcestershire sauce here. And some brown sugar in here. Throw that brown sugar in there. A little bit more Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce, y'all. AKA. American soy sauce. Okay, mix that up. Really, really good. Put half of this now, and I'm gonna put the other half later when it come out of the oven. So we're gonna cook it, cover it 350 degrees for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, we're gonna take the foil off, and we're gonna put the rest of the glaze on it. We're gonna glaze it for another 15 minutes, uncovered. See that? The glaze on there. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's say this is awesome here. Like I say, I'm just like, y'all come over here and I'm in my kitchen cooking. Wasn't no measuring nothing today. Nothing like that. And people say they like these type of videos. If y'all do like these spontaneous videos like this, Spirit of the moment type. Let me know, y'all. I'll do more because, yeah, just like you coming over, sit down, or join me in the kitchen right now, and I'm going to cook up something. So, yeah, I got the green bag. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to put some foil over here. Make sure you, I like to, like to say, spray the inside of my foil. 
Neighbors calling me. I'm gonna answer the phone with y'all. Like I say, just like y'all here. Like y'all here with me. Neighbors calling 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 me.
peppers is cooked, everything. Peppers are tender. Mm. 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 Wow. One more bite. Y'all know me. I get in my element, y'all. I would get the videos on. That's when the food is so good, fresh. Mm. Peppers are so sweet. That's what it's all about right here, y'all. Old school stuff, bell peppers. Like I told y'all, this is a spontaneous video. I didn't really plan to do a video today. But I have solid bell peppers in the store. Great price. It was a dollar and twenty-five cents for those three yellow three it was two fifty for six bell peppers I got. Of course, that's twelve bell peppers. I chopped the other ones up and put it inside it. Then I know I had the venison hamburger meat. Had to get rid of. I always have onions in my house. I always have breadcrumbs. I always have eggs, ketchup, everything else I already had. So I said, let me make some stuffed bell peppers with this. So this is what I created. And this feeds four or five people. One bell pepper fill you up. And like I said, you got everything in it. You got your vegetables in there. You got your starch with your rice. You got your protein. You got your little sauce on there. That's one, one pot meal right there. It don't take long to cook. One hour. And you can do these ahead of time. Like if you're going the day, night before or like before you go to work or however, put it in the refrigerator. When you come home from work, pop them in the oven. One hour, you got a meal. Do these the night before. All the way up to the stuffing in and putting it in the pan, everything. Just put everything in the pan, cover it up. Come home from work, pop it in the oven. Very easy. So anyway, old school, uh, old school bell peppers. So let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.